I, okay, so can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Sir. Okay, okay, so let's start. You can't see your screen. Yes, yes. Can, can you see it now? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, okay, sorry. so let's let's start where we left yesterday. You can open your tablet uh, and open the same file which we which you were working on. Right. The so last visualization which we were doing was highlight table. Any question or any clarification which you might have? <coughs> okay. So let's let's start with the new visualization today, uh, which we uh, call GeoPoint. Right. Uh, so okay. So GeoPoint would look like this. Uh, let's start making this uh, uh, visualization. So my so we start with template, right? So template, we duplicate the template, and we rename the template as a viewpoint. You can name the edit the template also.
okay so we for geo point now since it's linked to the map so we are talking of geography wherein we can maybe take the state uh, okay states because okay you can state take the state on the in as a row in the rows first to create any visualization first step is to create a table so we are creating a table wherein we have taken states as yeah. okay so i have taken states in the rows states is a dimension emansi probably you are okay so okay so i have taken states in the rows and let's take again take sales amount uh, in column right and we create a table first everyone are you through with the table yes sir okay okay so to create a geo point Uh, graph. We click on the uh, the icon which is in the second row, the left, where you can see my cursor. Just click on that, and you would get a graph. Now on your screen, probably. So, have you got the graph? hello yeah so it's not showing any points it's not showing any points so there's a there's a uh, on on the right side uh, below uh, there there's a the, is it mentioned 13 unknown yes sir 13 unknown okay click on that okay edit location filter data show ah, so so there's a form which is open now the country probably mentioned would be india okay so change it to canada canada <coughs> okay okay uh, and just close it yes so now 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 what is the status yes it's showing points ha uh, but it's still showing probably one point less right it's showing 13 uh, it's showing yes, yes. one yes, unknown right one unknown uh, yes. now click on that one unknown again one unknown okay uh, and uh, you will find that uh, 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 <coughs> there is a word called sank seven sank seven yeah uh, so it's 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 written as unrecognized after that right okay so wait sir uh, after we click on the point it comes edit location then ha, in edit ha. location we have to uh, uh, okay ha, yes. so sank seven so so the word sank sank seven so there is spelling seven. mistake there is spelling mistake Yes, so go to the box drop down uh, adjacent to that okay uh, go down select that this word which word so, uh, so if you go down to the drop down you will yes, find sir. this word uh, sank seven right yes uh, click Task on that check. yes and just close the uh, menu so when we click on uh, saska seven hmm. then uh, it it goes to matching location where it is empty so after that we have to just click okay and close it no 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 so uh, matching location uh, there is a drop down there right yes drop yes yes, yes. Uh -huh. drop down yes, so click on that drop down yes and come down yes yes saska yeah. saska seven uh, saska seven okay. yeah okay so select that yes now nice. yeah yes sir. okay so based on the database it will it will actually uh, now based on the locations it has marked those locations yes 
Okay. So, but how how to pull down that map? How to pull down that map? I'm trying to zoom it, like you have done here, but uh, it's going upwards. It's not. Uh, I cannot see it on the screen. Mm. You should. Uh, there's nothing which. It should be done. Oh, yes, sir. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now we can maybe so right now if you uh, hover on a particular uh, point, it is actually showing you the name of that state and the sales amount for that. Uh, you can uh, so maybe if you want to look at other parameters also. So maybe if I want to see cost amount also for that particular state, so you just have to drag cost amount and put it over the tool tip. Tool tip it's in the cards area. Are you able to see this tool tip? Listen. Yeah, just drop that cost amount on the tool tip. And you have you also have to drop down say maybe margin on the tool tip. Right? Yes. Now if you hover now if you hover uh, at on a particular point, <coughs> it's also showing you the other two parameters which uh, cost amount and Sales amount and margin, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Uh, now you can label uh, the okay the you can label the states. You can drop, uh, you can drag the state and put it on the label. Drag the state. Yes, sir. State and put it on the label. Yes. It will show you the respective names. And you can, yeah, the size, the size of the uh, sales, uh, the size, size of each bubble is corresponding to the sales amount of that uh, state. Yes, okay. yes. So you can change the color uh, by dropping the state, uh, by dropping the sales amount in the color field. Which color? No, just hang on. Okay. So, the color of the bubble, if you want to change the colors of the bubble, respect, then you just have to take state and drop it over the color. Color in the color in the uh, uh, marks. Uh, this, yeah, cards area. Yes. Under marks, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So. This is what is a point, uh, point, your point graph. Okay. Uh, let's move ahead. We, so now I'm going, now I'll show you a geo area graph. So let's go back to the template. Uh, duplicate this and rename this as a geo area. Let's now again do the same thing. Uh, let's create a table for for the state and the sales mode. Okay, this time it will not ask you to match. Uh, the, it's not showing you unknown because it has already mapped the database with the uh, geo map of the uh, tablet. Okay, so yes. for geo area, you will have to click on the adjacent uh, the, the the graph in the mid on in the second row from the top. You just have to click on geo area and it will show you the area geo area map then you can bring in your states 
and drop it in the label you can bring in your right now each label is just showing you the sales amount so as we did earlier we, if we want to pull any other uh, measure we can uh, we can we'll have to drop it in the tool tip so just note that the subsequent uh, measures will need to be dropped on tool tip and then you will see that your tool your tip tool tip is enhanced now you can see cost amount sales amount and discount all three in the tip if you want to color the so please just repeat again okay uh, I have a map, but uh, there's there's no name of uh, states on it. So states को उठा के state को state को drag करो और उस पे डालो geo area में geo area sorry no state को sorry state को उठा के state का label state को उठा के label में डालो हाँ yes sir. okay And so but uh, you know the names are same like ret 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 only uh, like how you have yukon northwest territories i have just got ret no but on the table what is it showing you yes on the table only it showing me ret ret no wait, so wait, wait, wait. so did you pull something else state state will be respected so you you have drawn that point graph also right yes when you pull the state and put it on labels it, it shows you the names right yes so just check just just redo this just maybe remove uh, these two uh, fields yes. uh, and the ones in the in the marks uh, area uh, okay. just redo this just first create a table yes create it and then uh, create it uh, in the table it's showing you respective state name yes sir okay now just click on this geo area uh, icon okay yes sir it will just give you the graph it will not show you the labels yes sir so now drag state and put it over the label yes sir yes sir got it. yeah okay yes, now sir. now uh, if you if you look at any state hover your mouse on a particular state it will only show you the sales amount yes right now to okay uh, so to if you have to look see other measures also then you will have to drag that measure and put it on the tool tip Okay. Are you able to see? Yes, sir. Uh, so, okay. The only take care you have to take is that the subsequent yes. parameters or measures which you want to oh. see, you will have to drop them over the tool tip. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. So, if you have to, if you want to color this uh, differently, you just uh, uh, drag sales amount. and drop it on the color the colors would change it will give you uh, it will give you the gradient colors you can edit the colors by going to edit colors and choose any color which you like or which you think is fine you can change Sir? the color yeah so i'm not able to get the close up map as you got i'm getting the whole world map for both the graph geo point mein bhi ha dono mein just see uh, just see uh, so they on the, are you able to see my cursor plus minus yes sir so just try and zoom zoom in Just double click there. Just double click on the map. Is it? 
No, sir. There is a right arrow key at the bottom. Okay. And in that there is a plus plus. Yes, we have to click that. Yes. Yeah. We can after that. Yes, with the pan. Yes, okay. okay. Yes. Just pan. try uh, try what uh, you are Sarvatma. you are what uh, Sarvatma. Sarvatma. Yes, Sarvatma. Ah, uh, just listen to Sarvatma uh, and see if it's helping. Okay. Okay. Click on the pan and just drag it. It will it will be dragged. And after that, zoom it. On the pan. Right, right click on Sarani. Sarani, kill it. The second one. Yeah. Just look at my screen. There's a. Okay. And then go to move to the second uh, uh, pan F pan F. Okay. Just click on that. And after that, the cursor will change to hand. नहीं हुआ मेरा अभी सर जस्ट क्लिक करके बीच में मैप पे क्लिक क्लिक करके ड्रैग कर सकते हैं अभी मूव कीजिए कर सकते हां मूव किया मैंने बट जैसे सर का दिख रहा है ना मतलब कलर्स और एकदम कलर्स तो मैंने डाले हैं नहीं मतलब कलर्स नहीं जो आपका एकदम क्लोज अप में आया है और सारे पिक्चर दिख रहा है ना वही तो बिगर पिक्चर दिख रहा है ना हां हां हाँ, तो क्या करने का नीचे जाके वो ले, राइट वाला एरो के के दबा के सेकंड वाला ऑप्शन जो है पैन एफ हाँ. वाला क्लिक करके जो मैप है ना उस पे जाके क्लिक करना है तो वो ड्रैग हो जाता है पहले थोड़ा जूम करके देखो फिर हो जाएगा वाह हाँ, मेरा सिर्फ कनाडा दिखा रहा है कनाडा ही दिखाएगा दिखाएगा हाँ, बट फिर आपका अच्छा तो मुझे स्टेट्स को फिर लेबल में डालना पड़ेगा हाँ, हाँ, okay, so, so let's, let's, uh, so, uh, okay, so yes. so, yeah, डालो हाँ, 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 सेल अमाउंट को उठा के कलर्स में डालो एंड देन यू कैन चेंज द कलर्स बिहाइंड शो मी सो सो बिहाइंड शो मी यू विल गेट दिस कलर्स बार सो एक बार शो मी पे क्लिक करोगे तो आपको ये कलर बार दिखेगा शो मी ओरिजिनली ऐसे दिखता है अगर मैं उसको क्लिक करता हूं तो एंड यू कैन चेंज द कलर्स डन यस ओके एंड द अदर थिंग व्हिच आई टोल्ड यू वाज इन केस यू वांट टू ऐड एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन इन दिस होवर सो वंस आई एम होवरिंग दिस माउस आई एम एबल टू सी कॉस्ट अमाउंट एंड डिस्काउंट एज़ वेल सो फॉर दैट यू विल हैव टू ड्रैग कॉस्ट अमाउंट एंड पुट इट ओवर द टूल टिप एंड सिमिलरली यू कैन ड्रैग मार्जिन एंड पुट इट ओवर द टूल टिप Okay, can can we proceed? Please? Yes. Sir. Okay. So, uh, so this is about geo map and geo area. Uh, sorry, geo point and geo area. So, geo point shows you the representation by way of points and area by way of actual area of that particular uh, state. Now, let's let's move on to the other. Uh, graph, which we would call histogram, right? I told you about histogram. So tell me, anyone who understands what is histogram, what would histogram show? Range of values. Range of values and the frequency and the count, right? 
Yes, the range of values in binds. Yes. Yeah. So let's let's uh, create a histogram. Uh, we take a template. We duplicate this and we rename this as we rename this as hist hist histogram. Right. We change the name on the template. Make it histogram. For histogram, we need only one. We only need one variable, right? So we, I say, for example, I want to create a histogram of quantity. Okay, so I just pull it, pull the quantity uh, in the rows, and uh, uh, on the on the graph icon side, uh, you will find this green thing, green uh, uh, histogram, which is on the second last row mid in the middle you just click on that and you get a histogram so what is this telling us that it has created the bins of 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 right and it has automatically so the quantity is the quantity this the quantities which have been sold across the data they they it has just taken those quantities and bind them and bind them between 0 to 110 so so that means the minimum quantity is zero uh, would be between 0 and 5 and the maximum quantity is between 100 and 110 105 and 110 and the respective count so which means that between 10 to 15 between 10 5 between say 5 to 10, right? 5 to 10, there are uh, there are 819 orders of this quantity. Right? So maximum orders are for the quantity between 25 and 30. Got it? So you can, you can similarly hai. color hai. single block hi hai mera. some quantity aa raha hai udhar quantity cnt nahi aa quantity cnt nahi aa raha quantity ko rows mein drag karne ke baad kya karna hai sir bas kuch nahi karna ab uske baad isse click karna hai uh, histogram wala icon okay. Just, just do it again. Just remove this and do it again. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now we yeah, maybe so, so this becomes a histogram. Now, right, right now we can say that it is a right skew, right skewed uh, histogram. Got it? Okay. Let's move on to the other graph. We'll plot, say, scatter plot now. So, can we do uh, this? Uh, this histogram can we convert it to into increasing or decreasing? Like no histogram will so bar so histogram is there's nothing uh, like increasing decreasing yes, yes, histogram. Yes, yes. Right? We can sort. Uh, we can yeah. sort. No, there's no there's no sorting. Uh, see, it's it's the way histogram. It's a distribution of data. Distribution of based on the and and the and the bins based on respective class intervals. So there's nothing like increase decrease. Wo wo ab sorting uh, bar chart mein kar sakte. Hmm. Isme, is, 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 continuous data. Uh, isme there's no meaning of uh, increase decrease. Yes. Got it. Yes. Okay. So okay, let's move on to the other uh, graph. Let's draw a box plot now. So just to, let's let's go to template. Duplicate and rename box plot. So, so I'll, I'll I'll take the same uh, approach. Uh, so box plot also. What does box plot tell you? Yes. 
How many we variables do we need to create a one, 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 only yeah, one variable. Yeah. And it shows you median and respective quartiles, right? Yes. Maximum, minimum. So for that also, let's take the quantity and draw, drag it to the and drag it to the uh, uh, rows. Rows, yes. Okay. Uh, let's take the quantity and drag it to the rows. And then I get this uh, okay quantity, and then sales. Okay, so we'll also have to drag and uh, drag sales amount to the columns. Okay. So, so now there are two variables. Two variables, yeah. But it'll it'll plot it plot only one. This time. Let's plot the table first. Yeah, so I'm creating a table. Let's take the sales amount and the quantity. Okay, I'm, I'm facing some issue here. Let me come back to you on this. In the meanwhile, uh, let's, let's, I'll come back to you on the box plot. Let's look at another graph, which is scatter plot. Okay. Are you there with me on this? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm, I'm dropping box plot at this point. I'll come back to you on this uh, in a while. Let's look at scatter plot. So to that, do that, let's duplicate template and rename this as uh, scatter plot. So what does scatter plot do? Point wise uh, visualization. Point wise visualization, but how many variables? Two, right? Two, so yes. scatter plot is always done x and for y. two x and y, right? right. So let's let's pull to maybe sales amount and cost amount, uh, one in rows and one in columns. Okay, for this we'll have to convert this into the store one. Thank you. 
both are majors no sir okay so okay so we will draw uh, this between uh, scatter so we are on a scatter plot now right so let's take a uh, cost price in the rows Yes. And quantity in column. The cost price or cost amount? Maybe yeah, whatever. So uh, so you we will have to take two numeric variables. Uh, uh, two numeric variables. We can take any any two numeric variables. So so I am taking cost price. And quantity, right? Okay, this is step one, right? Now we are not creating any table here. We we'll just have to convert convert these respective fields into dimensions. So how do I do that? I click on this sum quantity, and I see the menu. I click on dimension. So I convert this into a dimension. Similarly, we convert this cost price. Into a dimension, and we get a scatter plot. Mm. We get a scatter plot. We click on this. We click on this uh, uh, icon, the leftmost on the in the second second last row. Okay. so you can take any two numerical uh, quantities and plot it it will show you the scatter plot so last uh, last step aapne jo kiya wo repeat karoge wo jo jo bhi do quantities maine port kari hai ek rows mein columns mein hmm. unko hum right click karke we will have to make so, those dimensions karne ke baad dimension karne ke baad wo ye jo aapka second last row mein second last uh, row mein first wala uh, icon hai उसको क्लिक करेंगे तो इट विल गिव यू स्कैट अप्रोड डन यस ओके सर यू टेल मी Uh, आपका जैसे मार्क्स के नीचे जो सम ऑफ कॉस्ट अमाउंट आ, आ रहा है और सम सेल्स अमाउंट आ रहा है वैसे मेरे नहीं आ रहा मेरे ग्राफ सही से आ रहा है पर उधर कुछ नहीं आ रहा तो मुझे ड्रैग करना पड़ेगा क्या कलर्स पे वगैरह वो सेल्स अमाउंट को कलर्स नहीं वो ऑटोमेटिकली आता है आई हैव नॉट डन एनीथिंग सो यूजुअली यू ऑब्जर्व आई आई हैव जस्ट ड्रैग दीस टू क्वांटिटीज ऑन रोस एंड कॉलम्स दिस इज शोइंग मी ऑन इट्स ओन So I'm so, getting the plot. But you are, we are able, not getting that. You are not able. You are not able to get a scatter plot. No, no. We are getting yes, the plot. Yes, but uh, we are not able to get that uh, color, uh, color and uh, details or size. size we have size. to put those things in order to get it. Okay. No. So let's re let me repeat what I did. Uh, I pulled quantity in the rows, and I pulled cost price. in the columns and then uh, when i right clicked on say cost price and i converted that field as a dimension yes okay. and i did the same thing for the quantity i clicked on the quantity i uh, make made clicked on dimension and uh, once i have done that then i clicked on the the icon on the right which is the first icon on the second last row yeah so abhi what is that you are able to you are not getting the graph no we are getting we the are graph. getting the graph okay but we are not getting the uh, two below below mark below marks there are two means two columns are there no sum of cost amount that is in details and sum of sale amount that is in colors so we are not, we are just not getting those two others other everything is same wo drag karna shuruaat par kuch so drag it 
पर जो कलर के लिए मैं कलर में डालने के लिए करता हूँ ना वो मैं यहाँ से पुल करके करता हूँ मैं मैं यहाँ से नहीं उठाता आर यू गेटिंग माय पॉइंट सो अगर मैं ओके एनी वे डू दिस यू कैन पुल इट एंड प्लेस इट देयर आर यू टू डू दैट ओके 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 चार हो गए ना ऊपर देखिए कॉस्ट प्राइस और क्वान्टिटी और यहाँ जो मार्क्स में वो कॉस्ट अमाउंट और आई थिंक वो पहले वाला रह गया Okay. Uh, yeah, now it's correct. Huh. Yeah. Yes. Sir. So you don't need to keep anything under marks. Simply, these two elements: ka, cost price and quantity. Cost price and quantity. If you look at x-axis, it's cost price. On the y-axis, it's quantity. And it's it's showing me the. So you can maybe, if you do sales amount and cost amount, it will show you a very high correlation. Yes. Okay. Uh, maybe let's try. Try try doing sales amount and cost amount. Do uh, make one more graph using sales amount and cost amount as two variables. Yes. Do that and tell me whether you've done it. On the chat, tell me who all have done it. So the question is that I want you to make a scatter plot using sales amount and cost amount as a two variables. हाँ सर एकदम मतलब पास पास में आ रहा है कपल टुगेदर आ रहा है हाँ ठीक है कपल टू टुगेदर आ रहा है यस दैट मींस देयर वुड बी हाई कोरिलेशन बिटवीन दिस टू बिकॉज़ सेल्स अमाउंट विल बी वेरी हाईली कोरिलेटेड टू द द कॉस्ट अमाउंट राइट यस Yeah. Rest of you. So the four people who still are remaining. तो क्या मैं एक बार लेफ्ट होके फिर से रीजॉइन कर सकती हूँ मेरा पूरा स्क्रीन ब्लैक हो गया है फिर से या यू कैन
Okay, I'm still expecting a couple of you to confirm. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Fine. Okay, so let's. Uh, Okay, now till now what we have done is we have created say a line chart, a single line chart, right? We created a single line chart. Single chart line chart would mean that uh, or a single bar graph wherein we took one one variable on the y-axis and one variable on the x-axis. Essentially, we plotted y uh, with respect to x, right? Now, if we have to create a multiple multiple line graph or multiple bar graph, so so in which case uh, we'll use multiple measures. So let's see how it's done. Uh, go to the template, duplicate, and rename it as multi bar. Right? Wherein, so, so let's take, say, maybe order date on the x axis. And I take on the on the rows, and I take cost amount, sale amount. I can't see your screen. Yeah. Okay. Is it visible to everyone now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what I was telling you was that we we'll, we we'll create a multi bar. So multi bar would mean that the bar graph for multiple measures. So till now we did it for say only once earlier the bar graph which we created was with respect to order date and the sales amount. Now we are going to create a um, uh, bar graph corresponding to order date versus uh, cost amount, order date versus sales amount, order date versus margin in one sheet. Okay, so for that we we'll first have to create a table. We so order date I drag to rows, I cost amount, sales amount, and margin I drag to columns, right? And this I just create a table for this. Have you got a table like this? Have you got a table? Are you able to make a table like this? So I got a table where uh, in call in rows I got cost amount, margin, and sales amount. So, so should usko, I just not... usko swap karna padega. Usko uh -huh. aapko year order date ko rows mein lana padega aur my year names ko uh -huh. columns mein likh dena padega. Got it? Yes, sir. Now, if I if I have to see the year of order right now, it's it's showing me yearly yearly cumulative, right? Yearly count, yearly sum. If you have, if I have to see it on a monthly basis, how do I do that? Right. Do that. Convert this into a month. So, how did you get the first one? Take Your table should look like this.
Are you have you got the table like this? Yes. Okay. Everyone, the date should be in this format. The way I have written: April two zero nine, May two zero nine. So, no, yeah, you have to first, who was the first one? Okay. Like that, that's why the board is scrambled. Three columns. You click on the table. This icon on the right side. The table icon. Yeah. Then you have to swap it again. Yeah. So, when you click on the table, it will automatically be swapped in the rows column. So, effectively, your order date should come in rows. And your cost amount, sales amount, and the margin should come. appear in columns yes. oh. so even after you do that your date would be appearing in digits would appear in digits to yes. so, usko convert karne ke liye usko uh, is tarah ke form mein uh, lane ke liye aapko uh, click on month order date right click click on format You will see a pane on the left side, जहाँ पे dates लिखा हुआ है. Dates पे अगर आप क्लिक करोगे, तो आप नीचे custom में जाएंगे और form custom format आप mmm dash y y y y. If you give and just just अपना cursor कहीं भी screen पे क्लिक करेंगे, तो वो चला जाएगा. डन यस ओके नाउ यू जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक ऑन द हॉरिजॉन्टल बार्स कैन यू रिपीट द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेबल टेबल यू वांट मी टू रिपीट द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेबल ऑफ द पेन नो चेंज ऑफ टेबल ओके सो As of now, abhi how is that date? आपको अभी कैसे दिख रही है? आ फुल मंथ दिखा रहा है और ईयर मेंस अप्रैल फुल एंड 2009 दिखा रहा है ना? हाँ. Okay, so you want to make uh, make it look like APR, not as April Fool, is it? Yes. Okay. So go to your uh, month order uh, date. Right click. Yeah. You will find this format yes. option. Click on format. So when you do that, you will get this screen. Uh, the there is pen uh, format pen on the left side of your. Yeah. Page. Yeah. Uh, then go to dates. Mm -hmm. Click on the drop down. Yeah. You will find. Quite a few I'm options. Go, go down to go go do go down to customs. I'm getting blank there. Okay. In drop down, me, what is written? In drop down, se pehle dates me, what is written? Dates. Drop down me, January two thousand ten, written. कस्टम में ब्लैंक मिल रहा है क्या? हाँ, नहीं नहीं पूरा ब्लैंक मिल रहा है। मिस ऑटोमेटिक के नीचे जो सब ऑप्शंस हैं ना वो सब ब्लैंक है। ऑटोमेटिक दिख रहा है? ऑटोमेटिक नेम दिख रहा है, उसके नीचे कुछ नहीं दिख रहा है। तो मंथ कौन सा वाला क्लिक किया है? सेकंड वाला क्या है? जब फॉर्मेट, ओके, हाँ, ओके चेक चेक सो व्हाट व्हाट सरमात पर कि सेंग कि जो आपका ओके जो आपने जब आपने मंथ ऑर्डर डेट, अभी आप अभी आप मंथ ऑर्डर डेट पर राइट क्लिक करो, हम्म, और आपका जो 
आपका ईयर क्वार्टर मंथ ईयर क्वार्टर मंथ दो सेट्स में दिया हुआ है दो बार दिया हुआ है राइट ओके अभी आपका जो डॉट है वो किधर दिख रहा है एम 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 वाई 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 नहीं 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 कौन से वाले मंथ पे लिख रहा है सर के इधर फर्स्ट ब्लॉक है सेकंड ब्लॉक है सेकंड ब्लॉक वाले मंथ पे क्लिक किया है या फर्स्ट ब्लॉक वाले मंथ पे क्लिक किया है फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वेट नहीं ओके डू इट ऑन द सेकंड वन फर्स्ट ओके ओके डन या जस्ट क्लोज द जस्ट जस्ट प्रेस योर कर्सर आउटसाइड दैट मेन्यू and then uh, go back to this again uh, print uh, <coughs> right click karo aur format pe click karo okay. ab aapko pane mein ja ke dekho ki aapko ye options is tarah se dikh rahi hai um drop down okay, sir, abhi aa raha hai na nahi sir main apne screen share karu kya can i see it right now yeah just hang on just stop your screen share i'll share my screen okay i've, I've done my stop share okay pause karna chahiye tha mujhe anyway aapne disabled kiya screen share ek minute just hang on Okay now now you able to visit, see my screen uh, sir i was saying that uh, I'll, I'll maybe i right can now. share my screen so that you uh, you can yeah, see so. that what problem i am facing okay fine okay i am pausing my screen or you want me to stop share so if i stop share then if you stop sharing then i can share my screen then after my you can share again Yes. Okay, so I'm stopping. You don't want yeah. me to pause. Do so you want me to stop, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm stopping now. Stop share. I've done the stop share. Sir, you have disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, just hang on. Let me enable that. So multiple screen sharing is enabled yeah. now. i'm giving you controls okay okay so one thing is that right now what you are seeing is that your cost amount margin and sales amount is coming on the uh on the sort of uh, as x axis right yeah okay so to to swap so if you want to change this orientation then you just need to okay so no i am not getting the control um, uh, sir actually i changed the month setting that's why uh, nahin, that nahin, got so aap, aap first step aisa karo ki aap ek to month ko uh, rows mein leke aao aur uh, rows ko month pe leke jao matlab swap karo no not not here not here Just rotate, कर rotate, rotate. हाँ, just sound. और ओके अब और आप टेबल पे क्लिक करो, टेबल वाले आइकॉन पे. Okay, and then now bring back, now again swap these uh, two uh, column and row. Okay. Yeah. हाँ, now, now, okay. Yeah. Now you have actually already formatted. Okay, now your, your I'm getting. Your thing is already formatted. The only issue is that if you want to maybe, इसको थोड़ा छोटा करना है, right? 
तो उसको भी ऐसे ही कर सकते हैं आप ये मार्च टू जीरो जीरो वन जो है लेफ्ट में वहां पे क्लिक करो राइट नाउ इट्स अ फुल नेम राइट ये वो Yeah. Okay, fine. Now, okay. Mm. लीव होके वापस ज्वाइन हो जाए ओके ना या ओके नो आई स्टॉप्ड इट ओके नो आई हैव गॉट टू कंट्रोल बैक नाउ या ओके सो वंस दिस टेबल इज डन यू विल हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दिस आइकॉन ओके यू आर यू आर एबल टू व्यू माय स्क्रीन राइट यस ओके तो ऑन द राइट साइड द ऑरिजेंटल बार आइकॉन right now okay and then you just swap but you can use this uh, uh menu option or you can swap the your columns into rows and rows into columns individually and you will get this uh, graph so if you look at this graph now on the on the x axis it's showing you the respective months and on the y axis it is showing you three different graphs corresponding to margin sales amount and cost amount now the only problem with this graph as of now is that since if you look <coughs> since right now see see normally sales amount should be highest cost amount should be less than that and margin should be even lower than that do you agree with me yeah so right now they are not showing you the they are actually so the if right now the problem with this graph is that they are it's showing you different ranges different ranges right so you are not able to comprehend the exact difference between these two these three values it's almost showing the equal height so to the, do that we will we'll need to change the we'll have to make the, all these axes the y axis range we'll have to make the same right now if you look at margin it's showing from 0 to 300 sales amount 0 to 6 lakhs and cost amount 0 to 3 lakhs so so as a step what we'll do is that we'll change the range of these axes we'll make all these axes with the, in the same range okay so go to cost amount right click edit axis okay and you'll get a screen like this click on fixed so you want a fixed scale fixed range right fixed end the only thing is right now it's showing you a value of 3 lakh 79000 we'll delete we'll make this as 7 lakh 50000 we'll make all the uh, all the uh, axis y axis in the same scale yeah. just make it 7 lakh 50000 and just close this similarly change the sales amount also so you are making it a fixed range So it's showing you seven lakh twenty six thousand as of now. We'll make it seven lakh fifty thousand. And close this. And then we do this the same for margin. Fixed. Make it same seven lakh fifty thousand.
now you see that the length of Oshimore and margin have changed, reflecting the correct values, reflecting the correct visualization. Are we done with this? Yes. And you know that you got it. Why we changed the why we made all these axes same, right? Because <coughs> to reflect the correct visualization, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now let's come back to let's come back to the the this. We left something, right? Box plot. Come back to that sheet. Okay. So, uh, so box plot again. We said that it's going to reflect one quantity. So, for this, we'll have to actually take two variables. We so we take. We want to make a, <coughs> a box plot for quantity, for example. Right, so quantity I take in the columns, and say I take one dimension in the rows. Right, and then I get an option of this uh, graph icon. Box and whisker plot, which is in a second row, second last row, the last icon, and I just click on this. So, this is what is the quantity uh, uh, box plot looks like. Right. So, our median quantity median is here, and Maximum and minimum. One more thing which you'll have to note is that so for a particular graph, any if you click on any graph icon, you would actually it will show you that how many variables does it need. Say for example, if I'm plot, if I my icon is uh, my cursor is now on the horizontal bar icon, it's telling me that you need zero. Or more dimensions, one or more mayor. Right. Similarly, if you want to look at heat map, it shows me it you need one dimension, one or two mayors. Right. So if you have any doubt in terms of what a particular graph needs, it it will show you at the bottom as uh, how many fields does it does a particular uh, graph uh, need. So in this box and whisker plot, it shows that zero dimension and one measure. But we took uh, one column, one row. That is one dimension, one measure. Mm. Zero or more. Zero or more. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Uh, and if there is any doubt, we can clarify. Okay. Do do so. Did you try? So are you trying whatever we are doing at your place? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So it's actually we need to uh, to. Uh, let me show me. See if I can just show you. Okay, we'll come back. So try a couple of box plot and see if you're able to do it. If you are not, then we we can discuss uh, in the tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Okay, we can. Uh, yeah, let's look at one more chart, which is 
multi line multi so the way we draw uh, we created this uh, multi bar we can also create multi line so let's let's create a multi line so uh, copy your uh, template and create a table uh, with date order date and sales amount margin and uh, margin and cost amount do that once you are ready with the table let me know We have to create a table, similar table as we did earlier in the multi bar chart. Are you done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So once the table is done, you just have to click on line continues, which is a fourth row, first icon. Line continues, and you you would get three respective graphs. Is the only difference is instead of bar graph, it's line graph now. Again, so you'll sir, find. Yeah, tell me. This this is means one window multi graph multi graphs like pair plot in C one. Same. Yeah, way. we are we are plotting plotting by yeah, one. Uh, so on the x axis there is one variable and uh, we their respective uh, y axis. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. So again, now you will have to we'll we'll have to edit the axis so that we have the same range, y range on the uh, respective line graph. So for that, just go to each uh, graph, go to edit axis, and do the same exercise. You make it fixed, and change the value to y seven lakh fifty thousand because that's the highest range for the sales amount. So we are making the all. Yes. This becomes your multi graph. Now, if you want to say maybe add values, so right now if you move the cursor, it will show you the respective value, right? 
but if you want to you can still say if you want to see the values respective values then जैसे कॉस्ट अमाउंट का वैल्यू देखना चाहते हैं तो कॉस्ट अमाउंट को उठा के लेबल्स में डालेंगे ओके टोटल इट कैन शो यू द रिस्पेक्टिव वैल्यू I want to show you something else also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll come back to these graphs later. Just wanted to show you one more thing which uh, is relevant. See, from the perspective of uh, the design uh, aspect or look and feel aspect. Uh, so these these are this is a best practice document which relates to data table. So. So I'm just sharing. Uh, so let's let's go through this. Let's see. Normally, so <laughs> the idea is that what is what is better visual, right? What is a better visualization? What is a good visualization? So good visualization generally would be that. So whatever you want to convey gets uh, so it gets registered with the audience with the least of effort, right? From the audience side. Now with that premise. Let's look at this uh, graph uh, table, right? Now, usually you tend to, we tend to color the table, maybe highlight it in red uh, if you want to highlight that information. No, but it's still from a normal pers uh, person's perspective, you still need to apply yourself in detail. Like you have to look look through this graph uh, table in detail, right? so how do you how do you rectify it to make it look better and more appealing right so let's see so first thing is remove the color okay then remove grid lines right the remove the grid lines then remove fills okay remove the border in between the lines in in between the columns remove the border so remove the bolds because bolds actually unnecessarily draw the attention left the line the text so all text are left line and all numbers are right aligned that's a design principle okay align titles with data so the titles the headers have to be aligned with the columns right so so if you have a text column then the header of that column should be also on the left and if it is a if it is a numerical column then the data uh, header should also be on the same uh, aligned accordingly now resize columns to data so you make your columns fit your data depending on the length so it creates a white space between the header and the respective data Okay. Use consistent precision means that it, right now, if you look at numerical numbers, they all are. There are few who are single decimal. There are few who are double decimal. Right. So he's aligning those numbers to uh, standard in one column. Right. Okay. Then 
then like on in the first column the repetition is removed right now whatever you want to highlight you highlight so wherever you want to emphasize so that needs to be highlighted so what is it telling you less is more effective less is more attractive and less is more impactful okay so before this was a table which you had and now this is what you have so in terms of visual registering this after well is probably more effective would you agree on this yes sir okay okay so this is whenever you draw the visuals you you should take this uh into consideration similarly let's look at one chart uh in terms of, uh, based on the same logic or based on the same premise that so there is there is something called data ink ratio right so this should be minimum this this should be minimum okay, let's see how a chart uh, works so this is the <coughs> chart which we will try and improvise with respect to the visual uh, part right okay so remove background remove redundant labels okay so is remove that right while a uh, uh, annotation because it's already given right different colors already there and anyways remove borders reduce colors remove special effects remove bolding lighten labels lighten lines removed background lines grid okay so is put those labels on the bar itself so again the less is more impactive attractive so this was a, a graph earlier and this is the revised version so in terms of emphasis in terms of uh, the visual appeal this surely uh, because uh, ultimately for a, from a visualization perspective you're trying try, trying to drive a particular point which should get registered with the audience so because in this uh, there are too many elements which need to be focused upon and it's not possible to do that for everyone uh, in a small amount of time got it okay yeah for that uh, so let's come back to our tableau okay so probably so what we just to review what we did uh, from the start we uh, we worked on tables right we saw how product hierarchy do you know how a hierarchy is done yes sir okay and uh, we did filtering Uh, how a table can be you can create a filter and uh, navigate the table then we got into different types of charts so we did line chart bar chart pie chart heat map pre map highlight table 
geo point, geo area, histogram, scatter plot, box plot. And we also did multi line bar and multi line multi line graph, right? Multi bar and multi line. So we 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 close it for today. We would continue tomorrow uh, at the same time uh, and with the next topic. So could you send us the recording for yesterday and close? Yeah. So I'll actually I had recorded the yesterday thing. So I'll pass it. I'm going to pass it on to uh, uh, Piali, Miss Piali, uh, and uh, they would they would share with you uh, the recording. So, also share these two PDFs which you explained. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, thank you. Anything else? No, sir. Okay. I have so, a little bit of confusion about geo area. So, if you could me. explain that again from the start. Okay, so that, let's do it from start to so, template. Duplicate your template. Yes, sir. Rename it as a Geo area two or right? It should be distinct from what you did earlier. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So for geo area, we would be taking sales amount on the in the rows. Oh, no, sorry, in the columns, and we would take state state from dimensions in the rows okay right and yeah. in columns we will take what columns will take sale amount the the variable which you want to show okay. which you want to plot with respect to a state okay sir. okay and this then you have to for geo area you have to Click on the middle uh, graph. Yeah. Okay. And you get this uh, map. Yes. But it's not labeled yet, though on a cursor, if you move the cursor, it will show you the respective name and the sales amount. Right? Right. But yeah, but if you want to distinctly label it, so pick the state from the dimension and put it on the labels drop it over the label okay. so it will show you the name of the respective state and yes. if you want to in addition right now you're only seeing sales amount uh, for a particular state if you want to see other uh, other measures also say cost amount for example then you have to put the drag the cost amount and pull it put it drag it over the uh, drop it over the tool tip Quantity, same margin tool tip. So if now I over my mouse, I am able to see two more values uh, which I have added onto tool tip. So I can see your um, this PDF. I can't see your Tableau page. Okay. Now. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So you missed the whole thing, is it? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyway, uh, are you able to get this screen the way it's looking now? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So to color color this thing, you will have to just sales amount and put on the color. Okay. And then you will need to just edit colors the way you want. Got it? So I'm trying. Okay.
so my suggestion to all would be that you try and play play with this now as much as possible and that's only way you would learn more yes sir i got it you got it okay yes. so think of your own visualization think of your own uh, uh, table uh, table so whatever you want to do please keep trying okay yeah so we close for today yes. we meet tomorrow at the same time and meanwhile i'll i'll pass on the uh the sheets and and the that recording to miss valley hmm? okay